six months. Six months? I think six months has passed. Long enough for Jenny's hair to have grown quite a bit. The L Word women are back. Hey! Have you been waiting long? For an unforgettable third season. My God. Picking up half a year after last season's finale means that the characters have come a long way. They can't get the camera off my hair! But for some, change is not always a good thing. Boom. It's... Six months later. Damon at the beginning, very beginning of the season is with Laura. She, they are together, they're a couple, and uh, Alice is not handling it very well. Did she change her hair? Alice is roaming the streets talking to herself. <laughs> I think that Alice falling off the deep end is one of the funniest things that we have this season. Yeah, just let me keep this. It was really hard to get. How do you get it in the middle of the night? You can take the shrine. You can take the shrine. I think when, when your heart is broken, in such a severe way, you know, who, who knows where you can end up. I miss you. Come back to me then. Tina and Bet are working on, you know, different parenting styles. We don't put her down. We're practicing attachment parenting. We try to keep her in contact with another human body as much as possible. Tina gets offered the job of a film studio executive, and she's in a position to support this family, which really shifts the balance in that relationship. That's a big thing. Somebody in this family's gonna make a living. <laughs> I have made a living for the last 15 years. I don't think my ability to make a living is really in question. I'm not questioning your ability. I'm questioning your desire. They're being completely tested, and they're under a lot of strain, and it's causing them to lash out at each other sometimes. Yes, or else it wouldn't be a drama, and then it would be so boring to watch. We're Shane at the beginning of this season in a, uh, a happy relationship. I'm going to meet Carmen's mother mm -hmm. and have dinner with her entire family. And I'm going to act straight. When Carmen introduces Shane to her family, they really don't know that she's gay. And, and you know, Shane comes along and they love Shane. We're your family now, OK? OK. Oh. <laughs> but they have no idea that we're living together and sleeping together and that whole thing. I think the big question is who is really going to change and who's willing to change themselves to make this work if they want to make this work act like you have a girlfriend yeah some shit hits the fan thankfully the audience is spared of jenny being you know carted off to the psychiatric ward she had gone home um to re recover and recuperate and we met at the Dyke bar. She meets someone named Moira. I've been thinking about it. What? I want to go for it. You want to come to LA with me? On the spur of the moment, she decides to take this really weird cross country road trip back to LA. She gives Jenny a ride, basically, and en route, they fall in love. You must be Shane. I am. Oh, that's Carmen. Hey, Moira affects the living situation because she herself is going through a very big change. She stirs stuff up a bit. So it's a little crowded. Helen has had a, a lot of time to sort of Californiaize, going to yoga, trying to be a nicer person, trying to be a bit more giving and generous. Is there anything I can do? Oh, no. You're a good friend. You're a good friend. She's become very friendly with Alice, and they've been kind of helping each other. There's a romance in your future. It's a creative person, an artist of some kind, volatile and changeable, especially sexually. She drives a blue car, and she's a brunette. Kit. She wears me out, by the way. Kit has a romance this year, and it's a little unpredictable and a little different for her and, and for the show. Kit meets Angus when he is babysitting her niece. I, I, I'm almost old enough to be your mother. He encourages her to sing and not leave her music and, and, and keep, keep passion burning. You're gonna be shocked, but you're gonna like it. It could be these new drugs I'm on. You don't know what's coming. <laughs> Tune into season three. There's a lot to look forward to. Stories that haven't been heard. It just keeps going deeper. It's gratifying and frustrating and enthralling and exciting. We're we really gonna do this. These are the stories of our lives. Are you insane? Am I insane? Stop it! I didn't leave you! Just do what I say, just watch it. The L Word, premiering Sunday, January 8th only.